Hello Oracle Universe, this is Justin, and in this Oracle YouTube video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to reset the password of a user account in an Oracle database. Now, there are many reasons why you would be called upon to do this, um, employed as an Oracle DBA, and uh, this is how you would do it. So, you connect to your Oracle database as um, you, you set your Oracle uh, SID to the Oracle database you want to connect to, finance, we ensure we're set correctly, and we go ahead and we connect to our Oracle database. We ensure we're connected as sys, which is a sysdba user which has privileges to reset passwords. And we ensure we're connected to the right database, select name from the dollar sign database, finance. Now, there is a user on this database. Uh, select username, no space, from dba underscore users, where username is equal to Justin. It's called Justin. Now, to reset Justin's password, you have two options. You can either use the password command, which is P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, not to be confused for um, geeks out there familiar with Unix or Linux, with the uh, command P-A-S-S-W-D, which is uh, what's used to change login uh, account passwords in those environments. It's in Oracle. It's the for it's the full word, P A S S W O R D. So we type in password Justin like so, and it's going to ask us for the new password. Justin one two three. Justin one two three. Now, note that if we don't match the password when it asks us to confirm, it won't let us set it. That's just a security measure. So Justin one two three. Justin unchanged. Okay, so it doesn't let you do it. New passwords do not match, it says. Okay, so we'll go ahead, Justin123, Justin123, and set the password. Done. So now, user Justin, Justin123, I should be able to log in, no problem. Now, the second option is to use the alter command. Oops. Okay, and how that works is as follows. As sysdba, the sys user, type in alter user Justin identified by Justin. So alter user Justin identified by Justin. Now the alter command here is, and this is what's cool about a lot of command line interfaces and SQL plus being Oracle's command line interface. So it's not just with Oracle. Um, there are verbs and verbs, uh, verb commands and verb commands allow you uh, perform an action just like they do with with grammar. So the alter command changes the attributes of a user, so we use alter. Uh, just like the create user command, create would define a user, create it. And just like the command drop user would delete a user, drop it. Okay, so we're using the verb alter here. So alter user Justin identified by Justin. Now notice, it didn't ask you to confirm the password. It just accepted it. So now, when the user logs in and they try Justin123, it's the password is invalid. So if they type in the password that you just set, Justin, with the alter command up here, it will succeed. Show user Justin. There it is. Now the password of a user used to be kept in prior versions prior to Oracle Database version 11G, I believe. In the password column, of the DBA users data dictionary view. So select password from DBA users where username is equal to oops Justin. Okay? But it's not kept there anymore. They moved it. It's starting in a, and I believe Oracle database version and release 112 or 111 and up 11G, they moved it. They they didn't move it. They didn't they didn't pass it through to the data to the data dictionary view because remember the data dictionary view such as DBA underscore users like we're selecting from here is getting is based off of a real table and in this case be in the data dictionary table user dollar data dictionary tables um, and with a dollar sign and refer to my uh, Oracle internals video about the data dictionary just to uh, for a better explanation on data dictionary table names okay so to actually see the password, where the encrypted password that's set for the user, you type in select password 
from user, the column is called user in the table. Select uh, password, I'm sorry, from user dollar, because it's a dollar because it's a data dictionary base table, where user is equal to Justin. Take a look at this. Oops, it's name, sorry. Where name is equal to Justin. And there's the password. Okay? Now even though this is an encrypted password and it doesn't really mean anything to us here, okay, it's it is imperative that you that you keep even the encrypted password protected. Okay, uh, from um, from hackers because a talented hacker, even if he gets the encrypted password, which is this string right here, he sh he he could still be able to compromise your user account and gain access to the database. And depending on how many pr how much privileges you have, will determine what how much damage he can do. So keep that password protected, and remember that in um, versions prior to 11, I believe. The password used to be kept in the, the user um, in the DBA underscore users view. Now it's just kept in the user dollar base data dictionary base table. Now let's say you wanted to change the password, change your password. Well, you're able to do that with the following command: password again, p a s s w o r d, Justin, like so. Old password. So you got to type in your old password and then your new password. Now notice the difference here. When we did this as the sysdba user up here, okay, password Justin, it just asked for a new password. It didn't ask us for uh, for the old password first. That's because it didn't need to do that extra security confirmation because you're the DBA. It trusts that you could just overwrite the password. But notice that even though we are the username here, okay, username Justin, we it still asks us asks us for the old password first. Why? Because Oracle can't confirm that it's you. Okay, so password Justin, old password first. So if I typed in the wrong old password, it's gonna say invalid old password. So I have to type in the right old password and then I have to type in the, the password after that, the new password twice after that. Now Oracle was down the right path with that because the whole idea of that is that if you left your cubicle empty, I mean vacant, and you went, you forgot to lock up your PC or forgot to, lo to um, log out of Oracle, which is always a very imperative, I always try to drill that in the, into users' heads, you know, please lock up your PCs, you'll walk away, or at least log out of my database. Someone walking by, not to say you can't trust your colleagues, but someone walking by could just as easily go in and see you're connected to an Oracle database because they see the, they see the SQL Plus session and prompt. So they know it's an SQL Plus session, and they could say, oh, I can gain access to this database. And then they come in here and type in password Justin, but the problem is it's going to ask them for the old password, and they're like, shoot. So it's going to say, hey, enter your old password, or you can't change this person's password. That's basically saying to the would-be hacker, you better do what you got to do now before the person gets back to their cube because once the person logs off you're not going to be able to get in you don't know their password now there's a vulnerability to this I consider it a vulnerability and that is me as user Justin I can do an alter user on me so I can do alter I can't do it on anyone else but I can do it on me so I can do alter user Justin identified by and we'll just pick a password Bob Justin, Bob. So that it didn't ask me to confirm anything. So that user could come, could, could come over and just do alter user Justin identified by Bob, and they would be fine, and they could do it. Okay. So just be aware of that. Okay. Oh, we, there's, so there's a vulnerability there. Okay. And if that if the if the password command that enter old password first, you know, isn't really for people walking away from the cube. It doesn't address that completely. 
I don't know what Oracle was thinking when it does when it, when it, when they do these commands. Okay, it's not. Well, I mean, when they create these commands, okay, it's still some kind of it's still a security risk, I think. So only the sys user should be able to do it. Should be able to do that. So I don't like that right there. But you, you guys should be aware of that. Okay. Note that if you do password Justin and we do 30, 30 char 31 characters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 30. And then 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's 30, and 1, we're going to get missing or invalid password. And we do alter user Justin identified by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Too long. So, and you get that error with the create user command as well because 30 characters is too long for a password okay so keep that in mind as well alright that's how you change that's how you change a basic password for a basic user in an Oracle database